Always such cold hands. I remember that about you. 1982. What a year, my dear. Oh, France, in the day before the garden wilted to what it is now, a stomp sea of tomato slush. Remember the gondola? The water covered me from head to toe. It took hours for my dress to dry. Remember how we walked through the streets naked? Wondering, wishing when our skin would turn back to its natural color. We thought the green was permanent. Your skin tasted of lime and salt. Sea salt. Your body was quite the suit. Different. But I will never forgive you for what you did to Mikey with that magnifying glass. The holes bled of the richest, most incandescent red. <laughs> I cried with joy when I saw it. Rita, I'm 17 years ugly. Hmm. Attractiveness is pretty much a joke after the age of 20. Perky breast, well try. Wrinkled, droopy, vein stained. Ugh. Self-esteem doesn't get much better either. If only nudity wasn't such a vital part of my daily existence. 17 years can do ungodly things to a woman's thighs. My cellulite is repulsive. Just look. You want to see? My blue toes were poking out of these holes on the top of my shoes, and my toenails were coated with ice. It was cold that day, of course. It must have been New York because the buildings were tall and the wind would bounce off the walls and hit my face hard. I remember walking down the streets with dozens of bags hanging off me, filled with the most wonderful things, an assortment of food, cards, lotion, a mini radio, and some of my favorite Billie Holiday albums. I couldn't play them, of course but I like to run my fingers across them and make these most wonderful designs. I remember meeting Hubert under the bridge and we'd share his wool blanket until our goosebumps would fade and the bustle of the city would go quiet. <laughs> He'd jokingly call me Lolita. <laughs> I was only 13 then, remember? I've always had the best of luck. Hubert left me. Hubert's pretty much the only person I've ever had. Well, the only person I've ever shared lives with. In a way, he is me and I'm him, always. He's in France still, lovely there. Red wine is my ultimate weakness. Looking to seduce me? <laughs> a bottle of red wine will do it. Just ask Hubert, he'll tell you about a time or two. <laughs> Seriously, that sugar gets me looser than, <sighs> oh well. I don't know where my kids are, who they are, where they've been or will be, even, really. Being alone like this, years alone, makes me wonder. If I ever had the opportunity to meet Shakespeare, I'd tell him one thing, that he was right about love. 
in some aspects. It's tragic. Always tragic if it really is love. But the thing about Shakespeare, in my eyes, that he was most mistaken about is all that love that he created and wrote about, all that love had a finish, an ending. But see, to me, love has no end. It either continues in its tragic and broken way, or it lingers like a bad smell. I don't know. My insight is often weak and faulty, and I talk out of my ass most of the time. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Hubert never laid a hand on me. Not like that. One day, early in the morning, like six, I woke with a feeling. An emptiness settled over the house, and I immediately recognized it. I walked over to the closet and all his things were gone. I didn't try to fight it. Some would say I was being passive, but I understood. It wasn't an end. Was it? What do you think? Excuse me. Can you hear me? Hello?